There was a story we covered at great length uh, back last spring. I think I talked to you about this. And it's about a man who's out at uh, the University of Wyoming who decided to pledge the sorority Kappa Kappa Gamma. And his name is Artemis Langford. And he's a man posing as a woman. He wants us to believe he's a woman. Um, I'll give you a look at Artemis. Uh, this is SOT 24. This is what Artemis actually looks like. Communicating with friends, uh, putting that you know social network that you have uh, from in-person to an online format uh, would be extraordinarily beneficial. And I wish that I had developed that better, but living in a new environment, uh, it was really difficult. So that's Artemis in 2021. I mean, it's not ancient history. Living as a man, University of Wyoming, then suddenly he's a she and starts wearing a dress and decides not only to do that, but to pledge Kappa Kappa Gamma because he really wants to feel part of a sisterhood. It's really important to him. So like a bunch of lunatics, Kappa Kappa Gamma, the, the head, you know, like sort of the, the group, the national chapter says, yeah, we want him. Our, our pledge to only admit girls, we didn't really mean that, we'll take boys too. And they pressure the girls. And a lot of the girls at Kappa Kappa Gamma were like, yes, yes, we're inclusive, let's do it. And started pressuring the other girls. They wound up taking a vote in which they told the girls, you cannot vote no on him unless you have a reason other than the fact that he's actually a man. And lo and behold, he got in. Well, then all these things started to happen to make the sisters feel uncomfortable. And blah, 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 blah. They filed a lawsuit against Kappa Kappa Gamma saying, you breached your pledge to us to make this a female only space. And they lost. Now they say they may appeal, I don't know, but there was a scathing decision against them from a judge who kept referring to Artemis as a she, who refused to define the word woman uh, for purposes of the case, which is what it all came down to, um, and just completely rejected these women's claims that they were genuinely disturbed and threatened by this man prancing around their sorority. Uh, well, now Artemis gets the Washington Post glossy treatment in a piece by someone named William Wan. Um, he's got, okay, this is the headline. A trans woman joined a sorority. Then her new sisters turned on her. <laughs> and this thing is absurd. They talk about Artemis like he is just this beleaguered young woman with tons of problems that these other mean girls refuse to see. And that when the story broke and the lawsuit was filed, they referred to him as him, as Mr. Smith, which is the pseudonym they chose initially before he outed his name. Um, as she read the allegations, Artemis, Artemis felt angry and betrayed. Okay, so Artemis was angry that the girls, the women in the sorority, didn't want a man sitting there as they did their yoga, changed into their pajamas, took their shirts off in the morning and went to the shower. The, he's the victim, you see? Even though now he's won the lawsuit, he's the victim and the Washington Post is happy to play along about how hard he had it when they filed the lawsuit and they gave interviews, including right here at the Megyn Kelly Show. Mm. I mean... Oh, oh, so much to say. Uh, well, first of all, we all know he's a man. Like, I, I don't think there's anyone that truly believes Artemis is a woman. And if they do, they need um, they need help. He's not. He's a, he's a dude. He is an authentic male man, adult, grown up male. That's what he is. That's what he will always be. Uh, what is interesting in all of this is it's really showcasing that it's never enough. It's never enough for these deranged men to put on lipstick and call themselves a girl. It's never enough for them to have a pronoun she. It's never enough for that. We can keep going. It's never enough until they're in our sororities. They're taking our freaking gold medals. They're taking our crowns at homecoming. That's when it's enough. When they fully, completely conquered womanhood. That's when it's enough. Mm -hmm. That's And we all need to be very awake to the whole scheme. That as soon as we start saying, oh, well, we'll sympathize and we'll we'll use the she and the her, like the Washington article was all, all over. As soon as we start seeding our language, that's then it's just the next step because that's not enough. 
it's the next step that's required until they are in our sororities and they're taking our crowns and they're taking our gold medals and our positions and our scholarships. It's a full conquering of women by men. The whole thing, this guy, William, a man, (laughs) offers no perspective from the other side, which is women, women, actual women who object to the loss of their spaces. That like, that's the issue. The whole thing is framed as the women who objected to this man are bullies. They're mean girls for not wanting to share their space with Artemis, who they point out has autism, as if that's Mm -hmm. a reason to allow him to pass as a woman. No, that's probably what led to Artemis's confusion because there's a high percentage of kids with autism who stumble upon the gender ideology and decide, oh, that's my actual problem. They have, yes. they tend to have obsessive thinking. They go down these Reddit rabbit holes. They spend hours a day online. And before you know it, poof, I'm not other. I'm special. I'm cool. I have the thing that people will celebrate, not the thing that people use in a way that can be negative. And mm-hmm. so, no, there's no even pause by William Wan on that. It's just Artemis is a victim. And there's this, there's this, Okay, listen to this. Artemis, by the way, is 6'2", weighs 260. Um, Other accusations honed in on the social awkwardness that Artemis says was partly a symptom of her autism in the lawsuit. This is where he, the the writer, is now going to blame Artemis' bizarre behavior around the sorority girls on his autism. You see, this is, the girls should have known it's uh, it's autism. It's not that he's a man. Heterosexual man, by the way. Uh, quote from the lawsuit. He has several times chosen to sit for hours on the couch in the second floor common area. He does not study. He does not speak to the women who live there. Mr. Smith, because he went by Smith, they alleged he was Smith in the lawsuit just to protect his anonymity initially. Then everybody was outed. Uh, Smith has while watching members enter the sorority house, had an erection visible through his leggings. Other times he had a pillow on his lap. Okay. Yeah. How is, does, no. does autism cause erections? I don't, like, I've never heard, I didn't, I never heard that it's that was so a many, side effect of anything oh, on the so autism gross. spectrum. Mm-mm. It's so many excuses. It's so many continual excuses for these deranged men. And it's giving them super rights over women. Women have rights. That's why we have to be so careful with our words. And for all the listeners who still think, you know, they're just being kind to call a dude a girl. It's not. It's not. You're literally tearing apart our language to give men super rights that our grandmothers worked for years and years and years to gain for us. And we're tearing it all down. Womanhood, women, it's not it's not an idea or a gender Women is a sex. We have rights as a sex. And as soon as we seed that and give it up and we start labeling men as women like this Artemis male, we're giving them super rights and losing our rights that we held as sacred and special after so many of our grandmothers worked for those. Uh, And I just want us to be very clear on that, that it is no longer kind. It is no longer nice to misuse our language. Men are men and women are women. And this guy is a man. And if I, gosh, if my daughter was in that sorority, ooh, ooh, that's a, that's a hard, that's a hard no. Like we have got to do better. And there has to be a, a reckoning for what we're doing to women's rights. And our daughter, like our daughters that are having to see a dude dressed in a dress, having an erection in their sorority house. No, what is and even, the, even this piece- culture? gets into a separate allegation in the lawsuit about Artemis allegedly having an erection in another instance, and then points out that some of the text messages between the sisters undermined that possibility in a different incident. Doesn't even try to undermine the incident of him sitting there with the the pillow on his his lap and the allegation that while sitting on the couch, he had an erection. I mean, sorry, William, you may not appreciate this, but when we go into our sorority spaces, we don't want to see a hard penis, okay? Unless it's a consensual sex act between us and a man, we don't want it sitting in the lap of somebody who's supposed to be a sister on the couch of Kappa Kappa Gamma. Uh, oh, 
<laughs> so insane, Megan. It's so insane. And you know what? Shame on that that journalist. That's not journalism. He didn't even show all the sides. That was a propaganda piece to keep yes. promoting this gender ideology cult. And like you said, follow the money. That's that's what yeah. this is. So yeah. So well done. He showed his cards. Yeah. Well, you know what? Artemis, you won. You're not the victim. You obviously have a lot of trouble and you really should seek help. It's not going to help you at 6 2 2 30 to put on a dress. The problems no. that you're having right now were created by you. You chose the wrong solution to the issues that mm -hmm. you have. I recommend you find a non-gender obsessed therapist and start mm -hmm. seeing that person for the issues that are actually underlying your issues. And I recommend the other girls get the hell out of Kappa Kappa Gamma mm -hmm. ASAP. The shredded lettuce on your favorite burger, the fruit filling in a donut, you may be surprised to learn they don't actually count on those five servings of fruits and vegetables you're supposed to be having each day. Oh, no. Or like my eldest thought ketchup, ketchup would count. No, it's a no. Now, I'm not going to nag you about your diet, but I am going to share with you that the Mayo Clinic says if you want to help prevent heart disease, lower blood, your blood pressure, and lower your cholesterol or improve your cholesterol, eat five servings of fruits and veggies every day. This is why I wanna introduce you to Field of Greens. Unlike these other substitutes, each fruit and each vegetable in Field of Greens was medically selected by doctors to support your vital organs like heart, lungs, kidneys, and immune system. Field of Greens says you will feel better with more energy and you will notice your skin, hair, and nails will look healthier too. If you don't always eat right and exercise, check out Field of Greens. I'm going to get you started with 15% off your first order. Visit fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code MK. Promo code MK at fieldofgreens.com, fieldofgreens.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.